Are you worried that carrying around excess weight may affect your health? Perhaps you are looking for a helpful way to get rid of those excess pounds. The good news is reducing your calorie intake is a better choice. If you eat more than necessary, you will acquire extra weight. And if you eat too little, you will lose weight, fat, and eventually muscle mass. Therefore, it is noteworthy that losing weight is directly proportional to your calorie consumption. So, in this video, we provide answers to the most budding question on everyone's mind. How many calories should I eat to lose weight? Kindly subscribe to our channel and like our video for exclusive content. Calories are a unit of measure for energy. In other words, calories may refer to the energy you attain whenever you consume something, either liquid or solid, as well as the energy you use in your everyday lifestyle. For many people on a weight loss diet, the amount of calories contained in a meal is determinate in choosing whether or not to eat it. However, if you wish to lose weight, the type and amount of food determine how many calories you consume. What's more, the time and type of food you eat make a difference, as the body uses energy differently throughout the day. When trying to lose weight, a popular rule is restricting your calorie intake to 500 fewer calories than your body requires to sustain your current weight. Doing so can help you lose about 1 pound or 0.45 kilogram of body mass each week. How interesting! You don't know that women are more likely to need about 1,600 and 2,400 calories a day, while men, on the other side, require a maximum of 2,000 to 3,000 calories per day. The fun fact is, this extent of calorie consumption counts solely on the individual's age, size, height, lifestyle, and health. Moreover, it's essential to make sure that you're eating great meals while lowering your calorie intake to give your body the nutrients it needs. Slashing your calorie consumption too much can not only cause acute side effects, but alternatively lengthen your risk of nutrient deficiencies, resulting in metabolic changes that make long-term weight upkeep difficult. To make it less complicated for you, try using a scientific calorie calculator to determine how many calories you should consume per day to either retain or lose weight. The calculator is notably based totally on the mifflin saint Your equation and can provide an estimate of your calorie needs. That said, the calculator system is based absolutely on population data, including distinctive factors that of genetics, medications, and lean body mass, and those that affect your calorie needs. The most quintessential things to reflect while slicing your calorie consumption are these easy and convenient guidelines to hold a helpful and balanced lifestyle. 1. Take in more protein. When it comes to dropping weight, protein is extraordinarily a necessity. Increasing your protein intake may additionally assist in maintaining your fullness and curb your appetite. Protein helps combat cravings, and excessive protein snacks can enhance feelings of fullness while also lowering starvation and appetite. In addition to increasing weight loss, some studies suggest that practicing an excessive protein eating habit can prevent or restrict weight regain and help maintain muscle mass. Therefore, if you desire to obtain a long-lasting, sustainable weight loss, you should primarily increase your protein consumption by way of including meals like eggs, meat, poultry, tofu, nuts, seeds, legumes. 2. Limit sugary drinks. Limiting your sugar intake is not quite an easy task, but if you observe from a brighter side is instead an accessible and reachable alternate you can make to lose excess pounds. Stop your intake of sugar-sweetened beverages, including sodas, fruit juices, chocolate milk, and other liquids with added sugar. The reason is, your brain doesn't register liquid calories the same way as it registers solid calories, so they less extensively affect your feelings of starvation and satiety. Consuming sugary drinks is related to extended outcomes of obesity. The harmful side effects of sugar go beyond weight gain. Added sugar can make contributions to serious health issues. 3. Drink more water one easy thing you can do for your health and fitness is drinking more water. Constant hydration is related to accelerated brain, health and weight management, and a reduced kidney stone risk. What's more, taking in more water before meals can also decrease hunger and make you consume fewer calories. 4. Exercise regularly When you eat fewer calories, 
Your body compensates through saving energy, making you burn fewer calories. As such, a long-term calorie limit can relatively slow your metabolism and lead to a loss of muscle over time. Resistance training exercise like weightlifting has proven to stop muscle loss and cease your metabolism from slowing for the period of long-term calorie restriction. At home, if you can't hit the gym, replicate doing bodyweight exercises such as push-ups, squats, and sit-ups. Cardio exercises such as walking, swimming, or jogging can also be necessary for aiding weight loss or assisting a generally healthy lifestyle. 5. Reduce your consumption of refined carbs. The term refined carbs refers to grains that have misplaced their bran and germ alongside white bread, pasta, crackers, and white rice. It also includes sugar and sweeteners. Refined grains usually lack fiber, which supports weight loss by lowering your urge for food and growing the feeling of fullness. Although decreasing the number of calories you eat can be top-notch for weight loss, slicing calories without considering which foods you eat is not a sustainable way to lose weight, rather, it's a threat to health. We highly recommend that you make a few other adjustments to your weight loss goals and lifestyle that can help you hold a calorie deficit in the long run without feeling hungry or deprived. I hope you loved today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification button, and like our video. Thank you for watching.